Hello guys, welcome to today's video tutorial by Trust Stanley at TS Tech Talks video. Today guys, I want to show you how to add a frame on your Facebook profile. On my previous video guys, I showed you guys how to update your Facebook profile, but on today's video, I want to show you how to add a frame on your Facebook profile. Um, now, this is actually going to be easy for some people to do that if you already know how to do that but if you don't know how to do this already you might find it difficult or challenging so to add a frame all you need to do is to go over to your profile section click on your profile image and you're going to notice where it says add a frame so just go ahead and click on that and it's going to show you different frames for you to add now you can see the staying at home frame Firstly, it's going to show you popular frames that your friends are making use of or that are created by your friends. So you can select any of them. You can notice your friends, um, frame your friends created. These are the frames my friends created. And these are frames um, from pages that I like. And this is a frame from other people. And guys, if you want to get a frame from Facebook, go ahead and click on the Facebook icon. So you are going to notice frames from Facebook. These are the frames from Facebook. You can go ahead and select any one you want and that will be okay if you are fine with it. Let me just select this just to show you guys how it looked like. So this is the frame and you can always um, um, set it to temporal because I literally don't want to use this for a long time. But before we do that, you can also notice that you can easily um, increase and reduce um, the size of your thumbnail you can notice it making it bigger and then setting it the way you want it to display and so that the frame will also be more visible so I'm going to go ahead and make this temporal and make it display for just one hour and then click on save and you can notice it's saved. You can refresh your mobile if it's not changed yet. And you will notice the changes have been updated. And guys, I'm going to show you guys how to do this also on the laptop, which is not difficult. But before I go into showing you guys how to do it on the laptop, there is one more thing I want to show you guys. You can always click on the profile image, click on add, add frames. If you are not seeing any frames that you want right here, all you need to do is you can notice this top area that says search for frame. Go ahead and click on that and then search for frame. So I'm going to search for a frame that it created for um, Nigeria Independence Day. So I'm going to type Nigeria and then hit search. So it's going to show me different frames by in Nigeria or or um, frames that are related to Nigerian by name and stuff. I have to switch my internet because it's a bit slow. All right, so there you go. These are the frames that are related to Nigeria. So just look for any one that looks beautiful and then choose it. I'm going to make use of this one. I think it's not so bad. So, but no, this is Russia and is a World Cup stuff i'm not interested in world cup stuff let's make sure of this then let me see oh come on you know what this is actually for um a video actually i'm going to look for a better one later on or recreate anyone so i just want to show you guys how to search for it anyway so once you search and see what you want just go ahead and click on save and you can notice i can make use of two different frames in one profile image so after you've done that it might have updated but if they update just go ahead and refresh and it will update so let me dive into my laptop and show you guys also how to do this on the laptop so um just keep watching if I want to make use of your laptop to do this, but if not, um, you probably understand how to do this. All right, guys, so right on our laptop section, you can see now that um, I'm currently on my profile area. So once you've selected your profile area, just go ahead and click on the image right here, which is your profile image, and you can notice where it says up, update your profile picture click on update profile picture and it's going to show you some option you can select any profile from here that if you want but 
since we are going since we are talking about the frame go ahead and click on add frame so when you click on add frame you can see frames again that your friends are making use of or suggested frames but then guys if you want to make use of a frame preferable to what you want just go ahead and search for that frame but that is if that frame is already created so i'm going to search for call of duty mobile Um, because I play video game, so searching for Call of Duty Mobile. So you can now see the preview of the Call of Duty Mobile um, frames that are available. And I'm going to make use of this one. You can notice it's displayed right here. Um, let me scroll down a little. You can notice it's displayed right here. So if you're okay with this, just go ahead and save it up. But if you're not okay, still wait for it to load some more or scroll down. So there is nothing difficult about this. It's just the same way you did on the mobile. After you've selected it, go ahead and publish it. But if you don't want to publish it for a while, just go, go ahead and select this particular option that says um you could change this option for a day or a week. So select the choice you want to make and then go ahead and click on update um, profile. So it's going to take a while and it will be updated. So um, this is just how to do it guys. So um, guys if you watched this video and you enjoyed it and liked it, um, please do subscribe to the channel and uh, like the video, share the video also with your friends. And in my next video, guys, I want to show you guys how to create your own frame by yourself. So what it means, you will be able to create your own profile image frame that you can make use of. And it's going to be created by you or whatever name you add. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And that is going to be on my next video. So if you are not subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification button and leave a comment if you have any question on this video. See you guys soon on my next video. Peace.